Hey guys, Bo HD here from How To and More, and today I want to talk about the top five ways to use Google Chromecast. Now, of course, this list will differ as time goes on because this is such a new product and it's not compatible with every device or every application. Um, but with that said, let's just go ahead and jump right on into number five. Starting at number five, we have Google Play Music. With Google recently launching the Play Music All Access app, you can now stream all your music stored on the cloud along with all the music on All Access over to your TV free to listen to and control wirelessly through your phone or tablet. Now I love having an easy way to stream music over to my TV because let's be honest, it's always nice to take a break from TV and lay on the couch and listen to music every once in a while, am I right? So just having the ability to listen to music on your TV is awesome and it works great with Google Play Music, so that's why I earned a spot on the top five list. Coming in at number four, we have YouTube. While this is another Google service that works flawlessly with Chromecast, it is very useful as you can stream all your favorite subscriptions like uh, I don't know, how to and more, and maybe how to and more. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you need. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, YouTube is becoming the new form of television, and when a device like Chromecast can make it available in every home easily and affordably, it definitely deserves a spot on the top five list. Coming in at number three, we have Netflix. Now, Netflix is one of the most popular media streaming services out there, and so it makes complete sense to have Netflix take the number three spot. While it is already super easy to use and works pretty well, you can count on Netflix and Google to continue to work together to create the smoothest experience possible, as both Google's device and Netflix service complements each other. And plus, many of you who order Chromecast even got three months of Netflix for free, so if that's not a sign of a strong partnership, I don't know what is. Coming in at number two, we have Google Chrome. Now this is super useful as you can stream your Google Chrome tabs to your TV, through your PC, even without actually having to view the tab that's being streamed on your laptop. All you have to do is download the Chromecast extension for Chrome, which I'll put a link down below in the description bar, and you can watch a YouTube video in one tab that's streaming to your TV while browsing the internet on another tab. For this multitasking reason alone, the Google Chrome extension definitely deserves a spot at the top five. Now last but certainly not least, coming in at number one is your desktop. Now a lot of people don't realize this, but you can actually cast your desktop over to your TV with the Google Chrome extension app as well. This will allow you to stream music and watch movies and YouTube videos in addition to presentations and pictures. Basically everything you can see on your desktop will be able to be viewed on your TV through Chromecast, which is why the feature takes the number one spot. I will note that this is experimental as noted by Google, so it may not work exactly the way it's supposed to for you, but it is something that will for sure be updated as time goes on. So that is my list of the top five ways to use Google Chromecast. My question for you guys is, what apps would you like to see compatible for Google Chromecast? Would you like to see Spotify or Pandora work with Chromecast? Let me know down below in the comment and I might pick your comment to be featured in my next video. So I really hope you guys like this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're a new person who's never seen me before. You can do that right up above or right down below to join the tech nation here on How To and More. I upload videos on a weekly basis. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see your face and your comment right down below. If you haven't seen my last video taking a first look and unboxing of the new Nexus 7, you can do that right down below and you can also see what my viewers had to say about Android 4.3. You can also take a look at my unboxing and first impressions of Google's Chromecast if that's what you're interested in. Uh, but as always guys, I'm BoHD from How To and More. Thanks for watching.